We could be in for something of a Comic-Con crisis, as many Hollywood studios are canceling their upcoming appearances at the annual event. And Fox 5's Jamie Chambers is live in downtown San Diego at the convention center with why local artists say that this might be their year. Jamie. Yeah, it's a bit of a time to get some new eyeballs on some art that doesn't get seen so much because of these huge studios where I'm standing. People will line up for days just at a chance to get into Hall H, but those studios are pulling out. The Comic-Con dropouts keep coming as major Hollywood studios are pulling back from the normally coveted Hall H fan interaction area. <laughs> Marvel was the first studio to pull out of Comic-Con. Now HBO, Netflix, Sony, and Universal have all announced bowing out of this year due to the writer's strike. Hey, hey, ho, ho, this corporate's ready to stop the go. I'm curious more than fearful. And that's okay with Jamie Newbold, the owner of Southern California Comics, a high-end comic shop holding some of the most precious comic books around, like this $14,000 Spider-Man, originally bought for some change. Whatever goes into con now, if it's, uh, if it's centered on more of the comic book legacy in that realm, it's all fun for me. Other Comic-Con experts believe this could be a shift in focus for Comic-Con for the better. Being an exhibitor there, it kind of draws a little more attention to what we do. Um, and what we sell. With extreme Comic-Con fans not tied down and waiting for hours to get into Hall H, comic book artists believe there will be more people searching for what Comic-Con was all about to begin with. The big companies kind of like come and go, so I'm not too sad about them missing out. And while the actors and directors might be less accessible, artists might be celebrated like they were in the past. It was fun then, I think it'll be fun now. It certainly is fun if you walk through Comic-Con at any time, you are absolutely overwhelmed with people in costume, dressed up video games, all the toys that are still being brought to this, just those really extraordinary moments with some of those big uh, high-flying actors won't be there this year, still working on that, reached out to Comic-Con directly to see what they might be replacing their Hall H exhibits with, still listening, still waiting to hear what they have in store.